We are committed, and let me say this again, we are committed to rehabilitating in full an entire gut, outside, inside, every side renovation of John McDonough High School in this next master plan. <laughs> However, we must have the confidence if we are going to invest not one million, not five million, not 10 million, but 20 or 30 million dollars of taxpayer money that we are going to serve children's interests well when we do that. We do not send kids to school so that they can wind up on the street two years later. We do not spend millions of dollars of them in their education so that their education doesn't get put to good use. And so before a procurement is done, before a bid goes out, before a check is signed to renovate the John McDonough building, I, the Recovery School District, our district is saying four things must be in place as part of a plan. Number one, leadership. There must be a school, excuse me, a state approved organization to run high schools in the state of Louisiana that has been allowed to run a high school and is attached to the plan to run John McDonald. We must have leadership that has proven it can get academic gains with even the most challenged students. Second, in that plan, we all know that a school is great depending on whether its teachers are great. And I know we've got some great teachers going on here, but I also know that the teaching isn't what it is, isn't what it should be, or else we wouldn't have the outcomes that we too often have had. And that's not to, respect a lot, not to disrespect a lot of the great teachers that are here, but it is to say that we do need to change our teaching and learning practices. And thus, this plan must have a guaranteed plan to get the best teachers, whether they're here now or whether they're from somewhere else, in our classrooms with our children. Number three, this cannot just be a school that says there's the same outcome for every child. College is an option for most children. Career must be an option for most children. Children have a choice, should have a choice, between college or career. They should be ready for both. And this plan must entail a plan to send children to both college as well as specific training for professional careers. And then finally, and I think this is unfortunately the piece that has been missing from too many plans in New Orleans, there must be John McDonough parents who have signed on to this plan because they know that this is going to change lives for their kids. And with all respect to everyone in the room, I'm up here speaking for John McDonough children. You're here because of your interest in John McDonough children. But no one is as interested in the welfare of John McDonough children as are their parents, as are their families. And too often we have left them out. We have not invited them in. And too often, even those of us, and I'm one of them who come to meetings all the time, have left them out. John McDonough's current students' parents must have endorsed this plan, or we will not consider it before we launch that bid to renovate this uh, project. My staff has started the work of trying to understand what planning is going on. Other groups have submitted proposals to the state. But no one has yet come up with a plan that meets all four of these criteria for John McDonough High School. A state approved provider of, of, to run a school here in John McDonough. A plan to get the best possible teaching. A plan to ensure career as well as college training for our young people. And an endorsement of true John McDonough parents of current students here today. Let's talk a little bit about process. The master plan amendments will be introduced tomorrow. The Board of Education for Orleans Parish School Board will vote on the 13th of October on, those master, on that master plan. On the 19th of October, the State Board of Education will vote on that plan. At the end of this month, we will make decisions about and issue decisions about which schools are going to be transformed to new management. In November, my team will be out having discussions as well as with community partners, with schools, about what plan is best. In December, school operators will be authorized by the Bessie Board. 
and we will continue those discussions with communities to try to find where is the best plan for schools such as John McDonough. And I'm hoping that by the time in January and February, when the first jobs go out to bid in this master plan that I hope Orleans Parish and the State Board pass this week, when those first bids go out, that John McDonough can be among that group because there is a plan on my desk that has the endorsement of parents, that guarantees career training, that has great teachers and leaders, and that is led by a state-approved group to run a school. If there is not such a group, if there is not such a plan, that does not mean we take it off the table. That does not mean our commitment ends. But it does mean we're not going to start with that renovation. We cannot invest tens of millions of dollars until we know that the outcome is going to be fantastic for our children. Uh, I want to thank you for coming here to listen today. And I want to thank you for your commitment to the work of students, teachers, teaching and learning here at John McDonough High School and in New Orleans generally. I will take questions or comments now from the media or from uh, any, any community member. Hi. Hi. Question, yes. If you could identify yourself. My name is Sam Hugh, and I'm a part of the John McDonough Planning Committee. And we have been working tirelessly, uh, nobody's being paid, and we've been working for a couple of months to work with John Mack. And I do hope that this committee is respected and their input is listened to. Because a lot of schools in the city of New Orleans have not had enough community input, parental, or student input. And I hope that things will be different with John McDonald. Because we have a lot of people in this community, principal, uh, teachers, that want input, and I sincerely hope that the John McDonough Planning Committee is respected. Thank you. Thank you. Right. My name is uh, Felicia Moran. I am an alumni uh, from the class of 95. The only thing that I want to ask is, let's say that this plan goes forward, Will the students that's here now and the teachers be able to come back into this building and not be picked, cherry picked because of their records, their grades or whatever, just like they're here now trying to learn? I don't want it to reopen and other students get to come into the school and you get pushed aside. I want you to come back to John McDonough. John McDonough, just like I love the school, I want you to love the school just as much as I do. The planning committee, the alumni, everyone that's here that's trying to help the students. I want you to also give back to the community and to your school. So that's the question I want to well, ask is, you. And thank you so much for asking it and thank you for being here today as well. It's so important that the alumni are uh, involved. This is not a plan for another school. This is a plan for John McDonough High School. And a school is first at its, at its heart, the students. So you can't change the students if you've got the same school. This is a plan for John McDonough School. Every child that's in these bleachers here today and others, I hope will be back here next year providing they're not graduating this year to be served by this plan. Other questions or comments? Yes. Anitra Brown, New Orleans Tribune. Could you be more specific by management organization? Are we talking about a charter operator or some other entity? And how would that how would that yes, entity? Yeah, talking about a, a charter management organization. Okay. Uh, does this change the long-term plan for the Renew Alternative School that's in the ground floor? Uh, with respect to the Renew School, we've said it would be a one-year sighting, and then we will issue a decision toward the end of the year as to whether or not it's been effective or not. This doesn't change the plan, but we are taking a hard look at whether this co-location is the right arrangement in the long term. This decision was made prior to our administration. We support the school, we support both schools, but we've said we were going to do it for a year, see how it works, and then go back and revisit the decision if at that time it's the right thing to do. Sorry, did I hear charter? What were you saying about charter? And a, the state approves organizations to run under a charter governance structure with the RSD as the governor of that of that school, and that is that is the type of organization that we are looking at. So John McDonough would become a charter school? Correct. John Cal Brown, I'm a member of the community. I just wanted to say I really like what you put here on paper. Um, I, I think this offers a lot of promise and hope. 
we, those of us who've been working with the school on a volunteer basis over a number of years, and there are a lot of folks uh, who have done that, uh, have been frustrated, frankly, about the level of execution. Uh, a lot of RSD promises, not a whole lot of follow through. This is the most promising thing I've seen in the five years I've been involved. And I want to particularly thank you for making a commitment to invest $20 million or more, whatever it takes, to rehabilitate this building. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name again? Okay, thank you. Uh, so, for students, I want you to be clear. If you're, how many here are in ninth grade? Tenth grade? Eleventh grade? Okay, we got any seniors? Okay, so, so y'all be, won't be here next year. Uh, Eleventh graders, sophomores, you're going to be here next year. This will have an effect, I hope, by making things that are as good as they are for you now better. I hope this plan will begin the refurbishment of this entire facility. I hope it will make sure that what goes on in every classroom is as exciting as possible. The one thing that I hope it doesn't change is you being here every day. It is This is a John McDonough High School plan, and it's a plan for you. 